Okay, so this is part 12 and uh, we're going to be, we, we can start working with the materials since we have already UV unwrapped this. So we can go to shading and uh, start by giving it a material. Uh, let me see what col color can we, let's go for an orange, orange color. So I'll select this here and name this orange, orange paint. Uh, disconnect this. We are not going to use any textures for this uh, except this uh, ring here and uh, we can give it a base color of orange. Reduce on the roughness. This is yellow. Now let's just sample this and see if we can change the hue. And maybe increase the saturation. Let's go with the red. I won't waste time on that. Now we can start working on this metal material. So this here can be given its own material. Metal. Just give this a one and reduce uh, on the roughness like that. Uh, now let's start apply applying this roughness. Okay, so this is also supposed to have uh, the same metal material. And uh, this front cap here. around there can have the metal material as well. Uh, this let me change this to remove uh, turn on simplified so that is easy to work and I think I can select this ring here and also assign it the same material uh, but for it we will we'll add as some textures also select this inside part and uh, give it that metal material. Uh, we can also select, I think it's this ring here, metal. What else? What else? Uh, these nails should have metal uh, also have them at the bottom here these two here since they are separate objects you just hold on control r control l and uh, to separate to sec to sec select them individually so we can also select okay i think this uh, just need to select that give it uh, the same metal material also the other side uh, because remember we applied uh, the mirror modifier when we added uh, when we started working on the on the UVs, so we also need to assign, give this the same metal material. Uh, 
uh, we can remove delete the reference images now we don't need them anymore what else call this here I think this up to around here gets uh, that meta material we hide uh, this also gets the meta material uh, this here the metal and uh, these also get metal so we need to create another material to make these dark objects so this should have more roughness and uh, it should be assigned to this here uh, but uh, this handle should have metal and uh, this inside here should also have uh, that metal or maybe you should have this dark material shouldn't matter Right. Okay, this also needs this one. Let's look at the back side. The back side. Yeah, nothing interesting th there so now we can bring back the simplify turn off simplify and this is how uh, this looks so we can add in uh, the reflection cube like this to capture our reflections and then uh, the radiance volume for indirect indirect lighting now maybe we can add a plane to capture the shadows you can select this back side bevel that smooth Shift E. Now we can uh, bring in some lights. Give this thirty, and uh, it will be our key light. Is it uh, let's bake the indirect indirect lighting and see. can also use some image lighting here 
environment and uh, find a texture to use here let me try something that has good reflection that would produce good reflections let's see if I try this then bake again It's for side uh, turn on soft shadows. It's for side this and see. So this is how it looks. <coughs> Let's see how it would look in cycles. Maybe we can uh, bring this a bit down. Increase the roughness for this. Let's try baking again and see. Okay, let's try this in cycles and see. Cycles, cycles, cycles. So the lights need to be a bit more powerful, but uh, yeah, I think we are done with the tutorial. Uh, I'll be uploading this model to CG Trader and Patreon. If you want to get it, you can download it there. Uh, see you in the next uh, video.